The new Can Am 2024. Wow. 200, think, dude? 243 horsepower as we predicted two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was one year ago. 243. <laughs> 243. Dude, we they took it. our video and they're yeah. like, let's make around 240 horsepower, just like Desert SXS said. Those guys know what they're talking about. Yeah, we'll yeah. be ready to rip. Yeah. A little under our predictions. Of, just by three, yeah. of course. But they, yeah. it might actually be 243. They might have just rounded it. Rounded it off. It yeah. could be uh, 239. That's usually what they do. Yeah. We call it a 240. Yeah. yeah. So what is your favorite thing about the car, Chad? The new car? Oh, gosh. So so many different things about the car. Uh, the, the, the suspension is cool. The cab is cool. Uh, the new six lug hubs are pretty cool all right we we're just talking about suspension down but before we start what are you what are you wearing there oh we got some new merch so right, let's talk about the hat first we got the hat let me get all the way around pretty sweet hat yes and then we got this new t-shirt so you all know we love sand dunes so we got the sand dunes here and then every brand of car yep we got the cowie we got yxz we got the talon we got the polaris can am and the speed pretty sweet Got a little Easter egg here with the watermark desert side-by-side -side logo. And then we got the shoulder badge as well. Comes in a great package and you're gonna be able to get this shirt in black because I know a lot of you guys aren't gonna wanna wear white out in the dirt. Yeah. So, so let's talk about suspension. That suspension is, I'm calling it the praying mantis. I know they're calling it the tall arm, but the tall knuckle arm but I'm just gonna call it the Praying Mantis. It isn't the best looking suspension, but if you can see this thing in video, I mean, it is handling so well. When you say Austin, I mean, you don't really see body roll. That was kind of their big thing with this. You're not gonna get a lot of The cornering looks insane. And yeah. yeah, I mean, the thing can just stay so planted. I think the thing is gonna be a killer on the track. It looks fast. It looks like it's soaking things up. You, we won't know until we see it side by side with a you know a pro r or, i mean side by side with anything that we know about but it's a little scary as far as it just looks like it could get broken really easy um, it's just out there you know a rock could hit it hopefully they built it strong so that doesn't happen or if you're going through some tight stuff like a tree branch or something like that that would be a big concern of mine there but also with you can only it's got a 32 inch tire under it to be hard to get a big tire so if you like to rock crawl if you like to go mudding this car is kind of out of the house yeah you're not doing this car yeah this is this is a speed car out in the desert this is a um, desert this is a southwest car one of the things i think that really leaned into was automotive technology okay so in our predictions video i talked about some accessories now that they're going to try to lock you into their accessories now they are really going to try to lock you into the accessories because their accessories communicate through their touch screen, through, through their infotainment system. So when you start accelerating faster, the light beams go further and you're not gonna be able to get that through aftermarket lighting. So if you're you know, using aftermarket stuff, you're now gonna have to switch to Can-Am. And, so it works through the infotainment system. And stock lighting is always a pain point. I don't know, how is, like my Turbo S, my, my uh, YXZ, my 900, all of it had subpar headlights. Yeah. Like, does the Pro R have good headlights? I haven't no. really. No. Nothing yeah, to write home about. Yeah, I mean, you, they're a headlight, but I mean, now you can get, you know, the light bars and everything with it. But yeah, you know, I'm talking about stock lighting. If they have stock this, lighting sucks. This, yeah. this dynamic lighting system stock, that's pretty cool. The, the transmission, I feel like, is the biggest. Yeah. The biggest piece. I was trying to take the biggest one off the table here so no one can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just awesome that it's gonna be beltless and you know it's the the way a stick shift pulls, like the way that YXZ pulled, uh -huh. um, it felt really good. Like pull to the top of a gear, pull the next gear. I love that feeling versus the CVT where you're just like Wah! Yeah. I kind of like that you 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 know bump it into drive, yeah, and then yeah. you do all the paddle shifting, yeah. Because the the Pro R um, gear gear shifter is clunky, yeah. and you know if you don't slam it into high, a lot of times you're just wrapping the belt around the clutch. So I think this is a really cool system how it's working, and with the seven speed, I think you're gonna get a nice low and you're going to get a nice high gear too on the other end of this structure. that's what i like a lot about it having so many gears making it so that you're can go rock crawl if you want or you can just run baja fast as you can get 
One thing I'm really stoked about this car is they went to a six lug, which means they've gotten huge with the braking system. I, that was kind of, you know, before this video dropped, I said I would buy a Can-Am if the brakes were better, the interior was better as far as like a dash or anything. A screen, huh? Infotainment. <laughs> so a few of the things I was, the my top three things were brakes. I wanted that to be better if I were to buy a Can-Am. So three piston in the front, two piston in the rear, 16 inch wheels so they can fit a bigger brake. What do you there. think about those 16 inch wheels? I, I think the wheels are beautiful. I think they did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. The wheels look really good and it sounds like the brakes are gonna be amazing. So we're back to a Polaris type braking as far as it's gonna break really well. So I love that because that's one thing I love about my Polaris. What do you guys think about the frame and, and the way that the body is shaped, the front end, the back end, all that stuff? As far as where, looks, where are you gonna put a spare tire on this car? Looking car? I think it's gonna be the same systems that we've had for carrying spare tires, put it some hideous way. <laughs> <laughs> Get some straps, drown it on there. Yeah, lose it on the trail, look on Facebook, see who found it, yeah. <laughs> Get on comms, did someone see my tire rolling back there? It didn't look like they really thought that through with the, uh, the whole yeah. Uh, bed of the, the car and everything like that. I think that'll be just how the Can-Am guys do it now with the crossbar and kind of prop, stick it up and... Yeah. Yeah. So we got three different drive modes. Yeah. So you kind of kind of like the Pro-R has three different drive modes. They're just doing like, what? Party a little, party some more, party a lot. And yeah. have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that'll be good, the drive modes. But I mean, you're going to be able to shift. So I see that being kind of like you're but, kind of your own modes right there but yeah yeah the rpms are going to be different for the shift points in the different modes if you put it in automatic so yeah that changes everything a lot how how far do you think they pass the pro r on this car um in what way i think in a couple ways honestly the x3 versus this maverick r i think the x3 is going to be better as far as rock crawling versus this i don't think this is going to be you know, if you're a big rock crawler, I don't think you're buying this car. This is like a race car. They kept it at a thousand cc's, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they but kept the three cylinder, but got it's it up a, to 240 horse. Yeah, it's a 50 mil or something like that turbo. It's so that's way turbo. over. That's way over spec on most races. So I wonder. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we definitely know Atlas Off Road. They put a big old turbo on their car and tried to run the race. And, and they the wouldn't let them. Like, nope, you can't do it. That turbo's too big. So, are we gonna have that issue, kind of like we have right now with the Pro R, where it's I can't do a lot of the races. I've showed up to a lot of races to race, and I get canned right at the end. Yeah. Over like dumb little things. So I think that they they pass the Pro R in transmission, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think they pass the Pro R in in technology with this new infotainment system and the smart. We don't know if it Lights works. Lights and all that stuff. We don't know if anything works. And, but but it, the talk sure is good. I agree with you. What they're saying, what they're presenting is, is yeah, it's possible. Well, they did how many miles? You remember them. Yeah, 352,000 miles 352, of testing. 352,000 miles of testing. So I'm sure it works. Like they have a Defender torsion bar on the back of this car. And I remember, you. I could I, I could never roll my Defender. I never rolled my Defender. I that never put it. one of the only cars you haven't rolled. Yeah. Do you think you can roll this one? I think I could probably roll this one, okay. but you know, the point is, is that the, I think this is going to be really stable, really strong yeah. on the, on the back end. So yeah. if you noticed in the video, this thing corners like a mother. Yeah. And I think part of it is because of that whole torsion bar system in the back. It's, I think I'm as excited about the rear suspension as I am in the front. Well, and it's wide too, because what did they say, 76 or 77? I thought it was 78. 78. And and so Polaris is claiming 74, and it's actually 77. So this might be 80 inches wide. Like, <laughs> depending depending <laughs> on the tire. Polaris math, yeah, yeah you're yeah, going to yeah. be 80. Yeah, yeah, Polaris math with the tire being suspension. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they, they went an inch higher than uh, the Pro R with suspension. Yeah. But that probably has tire with it too, because yeah. Polaris. They started? Oh yeah, Polaris played that game, so they're playing it too for oh, yeah. sure. They both play it just to get the inch wars. Yeah. On suspension. So, and then I mean they tubbed it right, and they tubbed the can. Oh, that was another thing that I was, that was super stoked thing. about. Okay, I'm stoked about the tubbing. All right. Yeah. So talk about the tubbing. the tubbing. I get excited about the tubbing because the Pro R seems to just go out like get fatter at the bottom, and 
the the KRX from the factory is the only one that scalloped the doors and then tubbed it. But if you look at the Miller Brothers and Phil Blurton and all these guys that do King of the Hammers, they actually cut right right at the bottom of the doors off in the plastic and then they tub it, you know. And this car is coming tubbed from the factory. So this is definitely gonna be the KOH car. So we're gonna see we're gonna see how this thing performs in Wait, so you do think it's gonna be a rock crawler? Because Dallin was just saying it won't be a rock crawler. Well, I, I don't think, think so. I don't think it's gonna be a popular rock crawler. Could you rock crawl with it? Yes. We're gonna but find out. You can't out. get into these big tires with that suspension being in your We'll way. see. We're gonna find out. I mean I, I don't see why you couldn't make a different longer top arm aftermarket we'll whip that out some guy with a mig welder yeah. and a six yeah. pack will have a new arm and some I big mean, tires on that the miller, are the miller guys are they gonna run this <laughs> mantis suspension 100 so oh. that means they're not gonna get a bigger tire well i don't know we'll see we'll see how much room is in there but i am excited about how they shaped the car yeah. they scalloped that that bottom so i think they're gonna use uh heavy duty plastic like the speed cars um, I ordered the heavy duty skip plate on my speed car. It's it's about three quarter inch thick plastic. Stuff looks amazing. You gonna rock crawl on the speed? Do it all. But I the speed be. car is, is gonna be my desert car primarily. So, but I am excited about how Can-Am pulled that off. So do we get a, I mean, I said, do I have to buy a Can-Am now? Cause I did say, if the interior was better, the brakes are better and there's more horse. You have to buy one. a Can-Am. So now I have to. So this there's too much not to test on this. I mean, this is like yeah, this is the whole car is just different. Yeah, it's gonna be fun playing with every little piece of this car. But we don't have pricing on this. This might be a year I mean, out. It, like yeah, I mean, are we gonna get it tomorrow? Is it gonna be in dealerships tomorrow, or are we gonna be ordering tomorrow and then waiting seven, eight, nine, twelve months? So what about the new models? Well, so we're still gonna have some old stuff. We're still gonna have X3s available. And then now we're getting a Maverick R instead of a Maverick X3. And we thought that we were gonna lose some letters and save some breath, but it's still a Maverick R XRS. Yeah, there's still gonna be a lot of letters that you gotta try to remember. They came out with an RC four door. Oh, so yeah. the rock crawling version yeah. four door. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. I think a lot of people are gonna buy into that. Yeah. That made me also kind of think that Dallin might be right that they aren't intending this to be rock crawled because they were expanding on their previous rock crawler car. Which is their RC, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of makes sense. But, but if these ball joints, you know, if so they're saying that the suspension is going to make less leverage on the ball joints, right? So yeah. that's good for rock crawling. I mean, I still think it could rock crawl with your seven gears. You have a lot of different ways to manage your power and you could rock crawl. It's just going to be, can you get your car tall enough with big tires to get over some of those big rocks? You know, that would be your big concern there. Yeah. I mean, and it then, looks like they got a lot of clearance. So supposedly that suspension is just killer in the uh, electronic suspension on just smart shocks. Right? Smart shocks. Yeah. It yeah, doesn't look doesn't look like they changed their electronic suspension that much in this car. They added a little bit with the piston and everything like that, I thought. So. Yeah, but, so but not a whole lot. It's supposed to be better. So should we end this video with praying mantis impressions? <laughs> 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 Tell us uh, what you guys think of the new Can-Am. See if you would be a buyer. What do you guys think? I think we're going to have to get one and compete it against the Pro-R and the Speed and see what one of these beasts become the best one out of them all. Dude, so they didn't give us pricing on this, but how much does it cost to subscribe to this Desert SXS channel? Oh, it costs zero dollars. No way. Yes. Zero dollars. Zero dollars, and you can get all the information you want about these cars of guys actually truly buying the car and driving them, not just also, doing an advertisement. Oh, uh, Desert SXS is going to be leading rides where? At Dylan? UTV Invasion here in, what, two weeks? Yeah. Um, we are going to be at UTV Invasion in St. Anthony, Idaho. We're going to be leading some group rides. If you want to come ride with us, hit us up and follow us on our Facebook forum because we will be announcing when we go on our rides from there too. And then in October in Lake Havasu City, we're going to be Legends also of... leading some group group rides in an event here. Yes. Legends of Havasu. Havasu. Yeah. Here. It's going to be it's insane. Gonna be epic. You've got to put that in the calendar and come out here because it is going to be epic out here. It will be one of the most epic weekends ever happening in the desert, for sure. Yeah. Ultra 4, side-by-sides, is there boats too? Jet skis, uh, boats, F1, bull riding. Yeah. 
Um, also, we're gonna have Travis Pastrana. He's gonna bring out the Nitro Circus Gang. Like, oh, no there's way. gonna be you know live bands. I mean, they're I mean they're throwing everything at this. It is gonna be a wild week. It's gonna be crazier than Desert Storm. Yeah, cool. they're upping it big time. So stay tuned. Follow us on our Facebook forum if you want more information of when our rides go, and if you want to come out to our track and come rip with us. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. It's free. What? The only thing that will make us happier is if you liked and subscribed. Ah! Ah! Anybody else is hard to Holy s! <laughs> ah! Hell yeah. <laughs>